Hello, and welcome to the People's Mental Stimulus Update Extra. Just found out today that the Republicans are now trying to play dirty when it comes to the whole Trump's big lie. I actually have a small video clip I'm going to throw in here. It's going to explain exactly what I'm talking about. And I'd actually like to know your actual feedback on this one. Do you think what the Republicans are doing is correct by their actions? I'll explain more after the video. Well, I'll ask more about after the video, sorry. Um, like I said, it's like a minute long, so you don't have to worry about the length of it. But like I said, I mean, do you really think the Republicans are right for what they're doing? Let me know after you watch this video clip. All right? Be right back. Thank you. Liz Cheney's days as the number three Republican in the House appear to be dwindling. On Wednesday, Republicans will vote on removing her for refusing to back former President Trump's lie that the election was stolen. CBS's Nicole Killian reports from the Capitol. Tonight, a GOP aide tells CBS News they are 100 percent confident Liz Cheney will be removed from leadership. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy circulated this letter, telling members to prepare for a Wednesday vote. It's clear that we need to make a change, he wrote. Cheney is being purged from the party's top ranks for repeatedly denouncing former President Trump's big lie about the election and his role in the Capitol riot, writing recently in an op-ed, History is Watching Us. Her likely replacement, New York's Elise Stefanik, has done the opposite, backing the president's baseless claims. And as you could tell from what you saw, they're trying to get rid of Liz Cheney, the number three ranked Republican in the Senate, because she does not believe in Trump's big lie. In fact, she opposes it. But yet, they're trying to move her from power and replace her with some, someone else that believes Trump's big lie. So what do you think the Republicans are up to? I mean, do you think they're going to try to uh, kick the Democrats out and steal the power back? Because so far as we've t we could tell by what Republicans' actions are doing, none of it's good. I mean, come on, you, you got the voter suppression laws I, dis I discussed in an earlier video. You got the um, Florida making it okay for school administrators to commit pedophilia by inspecting children's uh, genitals before they go to the bathroom to make sure they are the proper sex, which is really messed up. And then you also see what you also saw what Mitch McConnell said in a video that I put it earlier about how him and the Republicans' main focus of con of, of interest basically 100% of their focus is going on to stop the Biden administration. And as you know, when Trump was in power, like I said in the video earlier, that he did a $2.2 trillion infrastructure plan and the Republicans were all aboard. No questions asked. But Biden wants to do the exact same thing and they oppose him. Hmm. I wonder why. I wonder what, what's so different between Biden's proposal and Trump's proposal. Because if I'm not mistaken, most of Trump's proposal was to give a lot of tax cuts to the rich. In fact, he wanted to cut their taxes by 3.9%. In fact, I believe he sort of did. He gave him a permanent tax cut, which I don't think Biden can undo. So basically, from what you saw in the little video clip, do you think the Republicans are going overboard? Or do you think that they're justified in getting rid of the people that are actually loyal to this country and replacing them with people that are loyal to the Republicans. Uh, let me know in my comments. And like I said, if you do, if you'd like my content, please like and subscribe and hit that notification button to let me know and others know that this is some good content and you like it. But until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening and a great night. Till next time.